Very effective, Joe. Stop, stop. It's abuse. That's her windpipe being cut off. <laughs> Can I see what she's like out on a walk? Absolutely. Sure. OK, and is this what you use on her? Yes. yes. OK. Using a choke collar on Dakota is awful. When people use contraptions like this on a dog to get them to walk better, it's always better for the human than it is for the dog. See, when she starts to pull, I try to stop her. Right. Try to, you know, get her to sit. Yes. And then I'll, I'll go again when she starts pulling. Very effective, Joe. Did you hear that hint of sarcasm in my voice? <laughs> yes. She's starting to wheeze. OK, stop, stop, stop. That choke chain is literally cutting into her voice box. Then you've got oh, a collapsed wow. trachea. Yeah, that's. That, that is, that's now her windpipe being cut off. Right. That's the air, so she can't get enough air in, so that's raspy. Those things need to be banned. So you get breathing problems, you get the heart problems and, and breathing problems because the lungs fill up with fluid. So you, you wouldn't recommend show chain? No, not, absolutely not. Joe's not in control. He's pulling at the leash and he's jerking the leash. He's down. All of this being rough and being abusive, well, that's what it is, it's abuse. You can't correct a behavior unless you've taught it. You teach the behavior first, and then guide the dog into making the right kind of choices. Why don't people teach their dogs to do things? If you take the time to teach your dog to do something, your dog will do it. Gosh, there's another dog in the distance. Now I'm getting nervous. <sighs> <laughs> Dakota doesn't seem to be well socialized with other dogs. I have no doubt in my mind if Dakota gets off the leash, that other dog is going to be in for it. Yeah, I see what you mean. That's not, that's not a pleasant walk, is it? No, no. not at all. <laughs> not at all. And I can tell by her mouth that there's not enough oxygen going in. So let's go back inside. The more this couple reprimand Dakota for behaving badly, the worse she's going to do it, and the more insecure she's going to feel. The bond being formed through agility training won't last unless Joe also learns not to be brutal to Dakota on walks. I don't like what you're using on her. The chain is very, very tight around her neck. It's cutting off her air supply. It's actually extremely dangerous for her. She's okay. coughing already. I want to give a kind of special kind of harness that is actually more comfortable for her, and it's going to be easier for you to walk her while you're training her to walk properly. I was a little nervous to, to take the chill collar off because I wasn't sure how she was going to react. Now, I just want you to feel the difference. If she yeah. pulls, you just put a little bit of pressure on that. OK, go. And don't jerk. Just pull back. There you go. Nice. And it it's should... a difference already. A total difference. Can you see that? Yeah, total definitely. difference. Dakota's now not going to be in pain when she goes for a walk. She's actually going to enjoy herself. All right, you've got a dog there. Dakota sees and hears a dog barking in her house. Walk fast, take charge. And she's ready to lunge. Good. Now just stay there. Stay there a second. I'm going to show Mandy and Joe how to get Dakota's focus. The dog's still in the background. I want to see if she does this. This is the go find it game. When your dog sees another dog, she's starting to get rushed, starting, she's going to react. When she's reacting, she's not thinking. By playing a game instead of reacting, you're getting her thinking brain working. So she's thinking more about playing the game than she is at reacting to the dog. Cody, go find. Good. When you do a game in the presence of something the dog is uncomfortable with, it changes the way a dog feels. So now, stop and start playing the go find it game and be exciting for her. So you open your pouch, get ready with the treats, get her attention, be, be animated with her, tell her to go find. Cody, Cody! And don't wait a second. No, 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 no. You're not going to go. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oi, oi. <laughs> no. Call her name. She's going to listen to you. OK. Cody, Cody girl, go find. Good, nice. Good girl. Cody, Cody girl, go find. Go find. Now I want Joe to try, because in order to be successful, Joe's got to get on board too. So if you could take over, Joe. Not too sure how walk training is going to work with me. Her relationship with Mandy's better. Dakota probably doesn't really trust me as well. Go find. Cody, go nice. find. Good. Good girl, go find. Good. I like to see Joe communicating with Dakota, because he's just shut her out. 
Good girl. Nice. And I also like to see him having success with her because each time he smiles at his dog, that's a bit of a connection being made. Look at that. Oh, she came into you like good that. Girl. She said, I like that. That feels good. That's building that bond with you already. OK, let's walk home. Good girl. I wasn't expecting it to work as well as it did. That's incredible. I was totally shocked. It's unbelievable. Yeah. If you want to learn more about your dog's behavior, you can go to my website, positively.com. And if you want to learn more about becoming a dog trainer, go to vsdogtrainingacademy.com.